so uh, let's tackle the bone tool, which is a little complex, but I'll try and take you through it quickly. In it, The way I've used it is that when we've got the teenage girl clicking on YouTube or your tube, it kind of plays and then she hits repeat, watches the same thing, watches the same thing. And this skeleton character is made up of, uh, you know, just bones and, and, and images, but held together by an armature, which allows us to animate. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So here's one I made earlier. Um, and let's just get rid of the art. Let's not do that. Let's let's just have a quick look at this because it's it's made up of a head, a skull. These are all, by the way, these are all graphics. Uh, so I've gone through and you can see here I've got lots of graphics. I've got all the different, each different bone, glove, neck, body, spine, all connected. They've all been converted. So modify, convert to symbols. And as I said, they're graphic symbols. Um, I've got them all connected here. Took a bit of a while to get them in. Um, but essentially what I've done, if I zoom into this, let's have a quick look. Uh, let me just zoom in with the shortcut. Is that I've got an asset and I've used the um, free transform tool to shift the center pivot to kind of where the bone would shift. So somewhere in the wrist and then place it kind of in the right place. Now I've done that with all of them. So if you look at the, I don't know, the upper arm bone, the, 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 the head, are, actually that should be lower, shouldn't it? It should be about there, the pivot. So all the pivots are kind of in the right, sort of the right place. Um, I guess this one should be in the middle here somewhere, but they're, they're already set up and all you need to do is create all the pieces or use mine and then bring them in. Now you could draw these, you could use different photographs, etc. cetera. Um, so it's pretty straightforward. What you will need to do is find the bone tool. Now, if you haven't got the bone tool, click on these three dots and it will be down here. Okay, I've already added mine, so I'm just going to show you that once you've got your, once you've got everything in your layer one or whatever your layer is, I'm going to zoom out a little bit so I can see it. You have to apply the bone tool. Now let me just show you how to do this. So for some reason we're stuck on this one, but let's go and start in the middle and find that. And as soon as I draw, the first drawing I want to do is up the spine okay and from there I can start kind of connecting everything so I've created the first link and then I just again I'm on the bone tool I'm gonna click the head now I don't want the head to join the upper arm now if you had a t-shirt you could just do this to the sleeve or something like that but what I'm gonna do is just pull it out from the top of the neck and then pull it out again to the elbow and then to the wrist. Oops, that didn't take to the wrist. And just make sure it does take so that I've got all the junctions and joints that I need. So I'm gonna carry on doing that down the other arm and then down both legs into the ankles and I'll speed it up so it's not too boring. Phew, that is a little tricky. It sometimes snaps on and sometimes it doesn't. Now I think I've got, I can see a slight problem with this one. So I'm just gonna show you, if you do have any errors, hi, a big click and then click it, uh, delete it. What that means is everything that's come out of it is also, is also gone. So let me go back and get the bone tool to fix this one. This should go down to the knee and then down to the ankle. That looks right. It's sort of right, it's almost right. If I go back and get my um, selection tool, I can now just see if everything's connected and you can immediately see, all right, it sort of is. And if I want to move these around, they kind of are connected. Let's try moving this guy's knee up and foot down. There we go. So it is working. <laughs> Oh, that looks a bit weird. So that that's how I would start to use the bone tool. It's quite a lot of work to get to that. But once you're at that point, um, we can kind of start to move on. So 
let's have a look. If we uh, are here, let's give it I don't know, 40 frames just because. And then the way I start to get my movement to happen is every few frames I'm going to like make this guy's arm go up, kind of come down, get his head moving, etc. So I'm going to get some sort of Oh, that looks a bit weird. Um, I mean, the whole thing looks a bit kind of crazy, but oh, that I've missed an ankle there. That's difficult. And there. But the point is, is that I've now got these sort of keyframes where I'm starting to get lots of movement happening. Let's just go through to another one. Let's get this guy's leg right up. And again, I'm going to speed up just so you can kind of see how this might work. I think I'll do one more. I've definitely got something wrong with the ankle down there. So we can have a look at how we might fix that. Um, bring that head over this side. Bring that arm down. Bring that leg up. Okay, so there we go, look. So the animation happens all bet between those things. And I can take that animation, I could take all those frames, and use them again within another part, another scene, or, or, or standalone like this. If I if I wanted to now convert this to a symbol as a movie clip, I could. I could then add that further in. Um, so, for example, let's just repeat this. Let's just go. Uh, da -da, let's call it Skull Two as a movie clip because this is this could be really good. They are Skull Two, um, and then it, once I've got that as a movie clip, I can kind of bring that in lots of times repeatedly and when I play it I'll have lots of animations happening. It looks really crazy but you get the idea.